Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you 5 mistakes with turtles. And before we start, make sure to subscribe. Thank you! Turtles are great pets, especially if one wants to have them for a whole lifetime, say even 40 years. Although people love turtles for pets, they make many mistakes while caring for the turtles. Some errors are minor, while others could be detrimental to the turtle. Turtle owners do not research well enough. One of the fundamental requirements before deciding to tame any pet is researching about the pet. Every animal is different and requires unique care that could be slightly or widely different from the other animals. However, many pet owners simply overlook this requirement and end up sourcing a pet without knowing all they need to know about that pet. The same applies to almost all turtle owners. The idea of having a turtle is quite ecstatic. It stirs joy in them, making them totally forget about researching the turtle they are about to tame. Failing to study about turtles could have minor and significant effects on the pet and the owner too. For instance, turtles have a longer lifespan compared to many pets. They could live for 20 or 30 or 40 or even 50 years. Would someone know this without researching on turtles? Of course no. Even myself, I got to know that only after researching. Now imagine a person sourcing a turtle without knowing the turtle's lifespan. What will happen if he was not ready to dedicate the 30 or 40 years of his life caring for a turtle? You know what that means. Failure to research also means that the turtle owner will not know how much care a turtle needs. For instance, think of a person sourcing a turtle as a pet for a 10-year-old child. Later, in his teenage years, the boy may have to go to college. Now, who will take care of the poor turtle when the boy is not home anymore? A turtle owner who does not dedicate enough time for studies cannot tell the proper feeding, proper lighting, appropriate tank size, suitable water depths and the proper filtration a turtle needs. In that case, he will take in every suggestion from anyone. In the process, he may jeopardize the turtle's life. Many turtle owners do not provide the turtles with proper lighting. Another grave mistake all turtle owners make has to do with lighting. If the turtle owner researched well, then adequate lighting must be missing. It is a UV producing bulb that most reptile pets such as turtles need. Yet you will find the necessary equipment missing. Proper lighting conditions are essential for your turtle primarily because of two reasons. First, UVA light is needed for metabolism, breeding and regulation of their mood. In the absence of UVA lighting conditions, your turtle will eat but will not have the food metabolized. You will have male and female turtles in the same tank but they will not breed in UVA absence. They will always remain dull and aloof, yet you want your turtles to enjoy their stay. To have breeding, metabolism and mood regulation right, provide UVA producing bulbs. Another UV light type that turtles need yet turtle owners do not provide, is the UVB light. This is an essential variant of UV light necessary for the healthy production of vitamin D3. Like other animals, turtles require vitamin D3 in the body. Proper levels of vitamin D3 ensure that the calcium in the turtle's body is fully metabolized. A complete metabolism of calcium means strong bone formation for the turtle's shell and skin. When vitamin D3 lacks in the turtle's body, bone formation disease sets in, which can eventually cause the turtle to die prematurely. The only way to keep the bone formation disease at bay is by providing UV producing bulbs, especially UVB. For the wild turtles, vitamin D3 is never a problem, since the turtles roam a lot and get enough exposure to sunlight which provides enough UVB for the metabolism of the calcium in their body. Turtle owners do not source the proper size tanks, nor provide the appropriate water depths. The other big mistakes you will find all turtle owners making is not sourcing the proper size tanks and availing unconductive water depths. Let's address the first one, not providing suitable tank sizes. 
Turtles are generally dirty animals, and they excrete a lot. One way to counter this problem is by having big tanks. The big tanks will comfortably handle the massive waste the turtle generates. Imagine what would happen if you had a small tank and you have a turtle that excretes a lot. The answer is simple. You will have a hard time cleaning the tank and you probably will have to clean more frequently than you would if you had a bigger tank. Besides, having lots of waste in the tank is dangerous to the turtle. He may get burnt and die prematurely. The general rule that successful turtle owners use when sourcing a tank is 10 gallons per inch of a shell, that is 37 liters. By applying this rule, they give themselves an easy time cleaning the tank and ensure the turtle's life's longevity. You could come across a turtle owner who has sourced the proper size tanks, but looking at the water depths, you notice a big problem. The water depth is either too deep or too shallow. The general rule that applies here is the water depth should be twice as much as the length of the turtle. Yet many turtle owners disregard this. When interpreted, it would mean that 4 inch turtle will need 6 to 8 inches deep water. This way, the juvenile and the hatchling turtles swim comfortably and will not have a hard time getting back to the surface. Another area that challenges all turtle owners is feeding. They are either not providing the turtle with the right food or overfeeding or underfeeding him. The wild turtles will never have a problem getting the right foods their bodies need. They move around quite a lot and source the nourishment they need in their natural states. However, the turtles in the tanks often face deficiency problems because they take the same food types repeatedly. The owners will always think that they are offering suitable food types. Yet, over time, the same foods become monotonous in the turtle's body and give room for deficiency diseases. To counter this, you could do vegetables, commercial turtle feeds and proteins in mixed but steady proportions weekly. A turtle owner may give the turtle the right foods, keeping deficiency problems at bay. However, he could be overfeeding the turtle. Many people think that overfeeding isn't bad for the turtle. Yet the truth is, overfeeding is detrimental to the turtle. The turtle's shell forms from the proteins the turtle takes. With an excessive intake of proteins, the shell could pyramid and cause lung malfunctions and egg laying problems. On the other hand, underfeeding your turtle makes him underweight. The turtle could succumb to body weakness that result from constant underfeeding. Most turtle owners do not provide enough filtration. Having researched, provided proper lighting, sourced the right size tanks, ensured suitable water depths and fed the turtles well, most turtle owners will still make one mistake. They do not provide the turtle tanks with the appropriate filtration. As already mentioned, turtles are dirty animals and they generate massive wastes. The only way to counter the waste problem is by providing proper filtration. Yet many turtle owners overlook this. Filters are critical as they ensure the turtle swims comfortably, drinks and lives in clean, fresh water. Part of the turtle's waste consists of ammonia, a very harmful compound. However, with a proper filtration system, ammonia is not a problem for your turtle pet. There are many types of filters, but they all use biological, mechanical or chemical filtration systems. The biological filtration systems are preferred to others as they pose no health risks to the turtle. Many successful turtle owners have used the Tetra Decorative Repto filter, which has a three-step filtration system and attested that it is one of the best filters. All the same, when sourcing a filtration system, ensure that it can filter as much waste as the tank can hold. This way, you will keep your turtle safe from ammonia, have him drink, swim, land, live in fresh water and avoid the filtration mistake many turtle owners make. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. If you learned something new, make sure to click like and subscribe. Thank you.